Next, we'll talk about importing data. Built-in data are nice for examples, but you're probably more interested in your own data. There are many different types of files that you might work with when doing data analysis. Um, these different types of files are usually distinguished by the three-letter extension following a period at the end of the file name. Right. We can load in some data sets um, from the data skills package with the function get data. This creates a directory called data inside of your project directory. You can see it here in your files pane and saves a number of data sets into this directory. We can use these to practice loading external data sets. Let's create a new code chunk and load up the data set called fivefactor.csv. CSV or comma separated variable is a really common type of, of file. We can actually look inside of the um, data folder and look at fivefactor.csv. When you click on it, you can view the file and see that we have um, the first row is variable names and every row after that is one observation, one subject here. Um, in this data set, these are um, mean scores for the five factor personality scale. So each row is the subject ID and then the five different um, scores. So how we can read this into R, we need to um, give it a variable name like CSV data. So our object name is CSV data. And then we can use the read underscore CSV function. This is from the read R package that's loaded when you load tidyverse. And then inside of double quotes, we need to say the path of the, um, the file. Our studio will give you some autocomplete here. So we want to import the file called fivefactor.csv inside the folder called data. So you can start typing data and hit a forward slash. If you hit tab, it'll give you a list of all the available files inside of that folder. And this is the first one in the folder. Remember to close your double quotes and enter. Then we can run this code chunk. Now, read underscore CSV. You might sometimes see people use read dot CSV. Read dot CSV behaves a little bit differently. It doesn't give you this output, um, but it will give you a, a data table, but has some undesirable behavior that it's just easier to use read underscore CSV. We'll be always using that in this class. Read underscore CSV gives you this output. It tells you how did it parse your file. Um, the way that you read this output, you can see which columns did it import. It imported a subject ID, and that's going to be a character column that's made up of letters and numbers. We'll talk about that later, what a character is. And five other columns, O, C, E, A, and N, and they're doubles. That means they're a type of number, which we'll also talk about later. Now, you might have a lot of data in Excel files, so we can also um, import data from Excel files. We need um, a function from a different package, one that we haven't loaded in the library. So we can look, make an object called Excel data, and we're going to get use this function from the package read Excel. So if you want to use a function from a package that you haven't loaded in the library yet, you can say the package name, put two colons, and then the name of the function. So we're going to be using the read underscore XLS function to read in a file called fivefactor.xls. So now we can look at Excel data, clicking up here in the Environment tab, we can open it in the viewer, and we can see it's the same data, the subject ID and everything. What if your Excel data are um, on a different tab? So in 5factor.xlsx, 
we can view that file. It'll open in Excel because it's a more complicated kind of file. Okay. So we have one tab called original and another tab called replication with a bit more data. How do we load those two tabs separately? Um, we can do Excel data rep and use again the read Excel package and read Excel SX. That's the type of file that this data set is. And we need to specify which sheet we're going to use. Now, I didn't remember what the argument was called. So what I did there was after I hit or after I typed a comma, I hit the tab button and that gives me a list of all the possible arguments for the read XLSX function. And I can see sheet and then it tells me, yes, this is the sheet to read. You can give a string that's the name of the sheet or an integer. So whether it's sheet number one, number two, number three. So I hit enter. I'm going to skip a line here just to make that easier to read. So it's the second sheet. I'll just put two. And now we can see here we have 25 and the subject IDs start with R and there's only 20 in the, the main data set. Now you can also open up um, SPSS files, the SAV files, with a function from another package called Rio. So SAV data, the package Rio uses the import function and you can just say the file name. It guesses the right type of file from the file extension. So data five factor dot S SAV. You run that and SAV data imports it from an SPSS type of data file. Next, we'll learn how to create data from scratch.